This perk is overpowered. It's so strong that you don't even need to try and you will win the game. Killers absolutely hate this perk. This is the most annoying perk in the game. And of course, I'm talking about no midder. I swear, if no midder is not on your build, then you are a fucking loser. Go back to your cave and masturbate to Johnny Sins. Please, slow down. Please. <sighs> Because not using this perk is a sin. I hope Holy Mary will forgive you for that. Uh, guys, I'm just joking. Don't get offended, but no midder is a shit perk. Today I'm gonna talk about another perk. But before that, I will show you this short video clip and there's this pumpkin and I want to ask you guys, what is inside of this pumpkin? If you answer it correctly, then you will win the prize which is inside of that pumpkin. So take a look at this short video clip. So yeah, comment what do you think is inside of that pumpkin and please subscribe for more weird Dead by Daylight videos. Anyway, let's be serious right now and let's talk about one of the most annoying perks in Dead by Daylight and this is arguably the most annoying survivor perk in the game and I'm talking about Dead Hard. And my cock is hard. <laughs> Ever since Dead Hard was introduced, which was like 6 years ago, back in 2017, this perk has been done dominating the game for years. In fact, last year the pick rate for Dead Hard reached 75%, while all of the other most popular survivor perks were at around 30 to 40%, which is crazy. Eventually this insane pick rate of Dead Hard made developers change the perk and now it's apparently nerfed. We will talk about it later, but why did everybody want to play with Dead Hard? Why was this perk so strong? One unique thing about Dead Hard is that even though we've had many exhaustion perks for years, Dead Hard has been the most unique one, because you could press E and gain distance. This is the only perk that would save you from like crazy situations, for example you are so so close to the killer, like the killer can literally hit you, you just press E and just get a fuck away from the killer, and that killer would naturally be pissed because he almost had you, if not this this stupid perk, you would probably be on the hook. People like me, we would save that hard for critical situations and then we would intentionally get into the chase just so we get extra blood points and then when we are about to die, we just press that E button and then we just escape the killer. It, it was never so easy with any other perk because no other perk would let us gain the distance and gaining a little bit of extra distance in Dead by Daylight, it's like a question between life and death, gaining some distance can help you to make that distance to the other loop and most of the killers they would be like, okay this survivor just used a dead hard on me so I'm not gonna chase this survivor because this survivor can make to the other loop and then you know other survivors will rush the gens so I better just chase other survivors. And that's how dead hard literally saved lives. And honestly as a person who believes that this game is more balanced uh, towards survivors than killers. I think that killers are generally underpowered compared to survivors. Yes, of course, we got some really strong killers like the nurse, the blight, the spirit, etc, etc. But generally speaking, this game is more balanced towards survivors than killers. Survivors, especially survive with friends groups, they will outplay any killer, no matter what's your skill. So yeah, I believe that having a perk in the game which gives you some extra distance and as I mentioned before, gaining some extra distance can literally save your life, that's overpowered and I believe that old dead hard, it was overpowered. That's why when I used to play survivor, every single day I had dead hard on my build. That was like the only exhaustion perk other than adrenaline that I would take. And all of my friends used to take dead hard too. If somebody took sprint burst instead of dead hard, we would look at that person like an idiot. I remember funny days. <laughs> the thing is that dead hard was overpowered and there's no debate about that. You just had to play some killer to understand how overpowered dead hard is. But it wasn't really annoying and 
nobody wanted that hard to get a big nerf because everybody had adapted to this perk. Almost every single survivor would run that hard. And killers, well, they got used to that, you know. They would just wait a second for survivors to use their dead hearts and then they would hit the survivor. As simple as that. Even killers were not really complaining about survivors using dead hard that much because back in the day, killers had some extremely overpowered perks. For example, Hex Ruin. I remember old Hex Ruin. It was super overpowered. It was extremely annoying to go against. The thing is that eventually developers decided to nerf that hard. And you know, from one side, the nerf is a good thing because everybody is picking dead hard. The meta got stale, annoying and boring. And you know, from the other side, I love the old dead hard. And I was like, oh my god, what will I take instead of dead hard? Oh my god, this perk is gonna turn into shit. And guess what? After the nerf, dead hard has become even more annoying than ever before. And I'm not saying that it's better than before. Definitely no, because right now you are not able to gain distance with that hard. Instead, after pressing the E button, you got 0.5 seconds. And if the killer hits you within that time frame, then you will gain endurance. A lot of us thought that the new dead hard will require a lot of skill and will not be reliable. That's why a lot of people migrated to using sprint burst or light or overcome or any other exhaustion perk instead. Instead. But now people realized that it doesn't really require skill to use Dead Hard. I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. I've been playing Dead by Daylight every single day for hours and hours. And naturally I learned to play like a pro with Dead Hard. It doesn't even require any skill. You can naturally just master Dead Hard. And it's not really that hard. The reason why the new Dead Hard is annoying is that it's been nerfed recently. So a lot of killers expect survivors to pick some other exhaustion perk instead. But nowadays almost everybody is running dead hard again. And I started to take dead hard with me every single game and it literally saves like 90% of my games. It helps me so much. Dead hard is pretty reliable I would say. And a lot of killers, even I when I play killer, I don't expect people to play with dead hard. For some reason I expect something else but not that hard and then whenever I'm like oh my god I'm so close to the survivor I'm just gonna one tap hit him and then this survivor will go on the hook and then I hit that survivor and it turns out that that survivor has dead hard and then I'm like oh shit I'm fucked and that's how they win the game and I'm like Ah, <sighs> survivors are really overpowered and it's very, very annoying. Now, I'm not saying that Dead Hard needs to be deleted from the game. In fact, I love using Dead Hard because when I play Survivor, I don't see a problem with that. I love the fact that there's a perk that helps me to win my games. But from the killer's perspective, it is very annoying and pretty much unfair. So what I want developers to do is I don't want them to change that hard in any way. I just want them to introduce some good killer perks that would help killers, not survivors, but killers, because most of the best new perks, they are for survivors, surprisingly. And also killers need some buffs in general. I talked about that in my last video and comment if you think I should do a new video, uh, if I should make a new video about killers versus survivors. What's my opinion on that? You know, if you comment and I will read that comment, I will probably make a video about it. But comment, what do you think? Do you think that Dead Heart is really annoying? Because in my opinion, it is the most annoying perk in the game. And I generally get annoyed when I play a killer. I curse the world. I'm so mad whenever I get to play against a survivor using dead hard against me. You have no idea, man. Anyway, please subscribe for more Dead by Daylight videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. Ciao.